Chris, owner of Pilot Savvy. In this video, we're going to cover downloading and installing new aircraft to X Plane 11. I created this video because initially, when I started using X Plane 11, the task appeared to be a little overwhelming, and uh, I had to do some research and I, I pretty much over engineered the process. So, hopefully, after watching this video, you won't have to go through what I went. Through. I like to do my shopping on xplane.org. It has a, oh, a whole slew of aircraft to choose from. In this example, we're going to choose one of my favorite, the Diamond DA 50RG from Arabesque. Then you see I'm um, in my account. After checking out, you know, making the purchase, you will see your aircraft that you purchased show up in this menu. And you see under here it has invoice information, date of purchase, item number. And this has the aircraft and the key code, was, uh, which you're not able to see on this screen. Then uh, underneath uh, downloads, there's a download uh, link, a hyperlink to click on. And what that does is takes you to this. Um, it'll download a zip file. As you see here, it's already downloaded. This is my default location, the downloads folder. Once you download it, click on it, drag it to the X Plane 11 folder. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the X Plane 11 folder. I'm clicking there. And you want to extract the fold, uh, file. So let's extract. Well, it's already been extracted. So I click here and it's extracted. So what I'm going to do now is uh, uh, you have a folder called Diamond DA50RG, uh, whatever aircraft you select uh, or you download. And I'm going to double click to show you what's in that uh, unzipped folder. You have all these files. So one of the things I've done also is I've already copied the key code uh, in my notepad. So we'll be able to paste it in when when we come to that point. So I'm going to go back here and the instructions reading them it seems like oh it's, it's kind of overwhelming but it's really not. You simply do this. You saw earlier we clicked on the X plane folder over here. Then uh, it, so it opened up the X-Plane folder. Then you want to uh, copy all your aircraft into the aircraft folder unless otherwise specified. There's uh, F, uh, X Aviation. Uh, it has some specifics on where to put the aircraft. And uh, so in this case here, we're going to put open up the aircraft folder. And here's some other aircraft that are there. So. I'm going to show you the before and after. So, going to leave this here. Then we're going to go into the X uh, launch X plane, X plane 11. The reason I wanted to bring you here is to show you what aircraft we currently have and show you how it would appear when we add the new one. Just making a comparison. So. This is the aircraft we currently have. We're not going to launch this, so we're actually going to exit out. But notice there is no Diamond DA-50. And it's pretty basic. I don't have a lot of aircraft that I uh, added to it. But notice there that there are, there is no DA-50. Um, this is the area where all the aircraft hang out at. So I'm going to go back, and then I'm going to exit X-Plane 11 and go back to continue this. So, uh, although I probably could have let it stay open, I kind of like to do all this uh, back-end stuff before launching. So, we are in, in the X-Plane 11 aircraft folder. Gonna drag this folder into that aircraft folder. And it's copying. It doesn't take long. There's a lot of files, but it doesn't take long. 
uh, if you're running uh, flight sim you probably are using some sort of uh, robust gaming system so you have a performance advantage and you see here this is uh, almost done already and it's there so now we have the Diamond DA-50 aircraft so that's that part is done uh, we don't need the browser anymore I'm gonna go ahead and close that we don't need the uh, downloads folder anymore I'm gonna close that we don't need this folder anymore so I'm gonna close it and we're gonna just hop right into um, opening up the X-Plane. Now remember earlier we opened it Checking up. updates. We did not see a diamond aircraft. Updates finished. So now we'll go new flight. And now you see the diamond DA-50 aircraft has appeared. This is the, the uh, diamond 50 aircraft in the color scheme that I like for the diamond 50. So let's go ahead and select that. See the both the highlighted. You have a favorite set you can uh, include here. This is this is it for me. The ah, I didn't want to do that. Okay, I'll just do that here. There we go. All right. So we have the aircraft loaded. Okay, we're not going to get into, we're only going to be doing the install there uh, for this portion. So, here, and everything is ready to go. Launch the aircraft. And I think I have the uh, default setting uh, location as a... Uh, um, John Wayne Airport in Orange County, Southern California. Give it a few to load up. sitting at John Wayne Airport, runway 20 right in John Wayne. Alright, yeah, stop the engine that time. So, another thing is telling me here, this is our, uh, the, the uh, uh, vendor for the aircraft, or the uh, developer for the aircraft is uh, Arabask. So, what they're telling me, they use uh, Skunk Works uh, to manage the updates update available is telling me to please load the default Cessna 172 and update with the skunks work with the skunk works uh, skunk crafts update we're not talking area 51 here um, so I'm gonna do that uh, that threw me off before I'm like what the heck do they mean yes yeah, because I wasn't used I didn't know the menu for the one for the uh, D DA50 so what they're talking about is there's a later version here I have version 1 there's version 
we currently have the diamond loaded so what they're saying here is they want me to go here and see uh, what it says here update with the skunks crafts update I'll show you what they're talking about before I leave this menu skunks craft skunk crafts update show hot this is what they're talking about but it, we can't do it because the aircraft is running it's saying here there's an update available so close this click OK here then I go over to the aircraft and then I select the uh, 172 that they mentioned Then I click on uh, it's kind of hidden for me start, start new aircraft and start new flight now it's going to come up with the 172 Skyhawk and there it is I don't care about shutting that down now we go back to this menu I showed you earlier uh, Skunk Craft Updater show hide and here's that diamond 50 it's showing that we have 1.0 and 1.3 is available and update repair everything and it's downloading it should not be that long I see the rendering you, you probably noticed the rendering up here is showing low um, during the setup process or so just initially getting the setup it's normally not that low it, this is gonna this is gonna get up high it's just occasionally it does that and so all I do basically is uh, get out of the X plane and go back in after setting up a new aircraft and it um, you, know, you don't have to do it every time um, but you know sometimes it does that hiccups a little bit but that's um, I consider that normal okay so now it's saying it's successful it shows now that that I have 1.3 uh, revision and so it says ready so there are no updates and look at that rendering that changed okay so now I go back over here and we want to go back to the diamond aircraft so I'll uh, click it here and here and start flight and the diamond aircraft is going to come back up of course I could have took advantage of that and told you to start the engine um, it's actually asking me to activate again and I'll go ahead and do that now I think that it did this because it, it install some files so I'm going to go ahead and do what I did before I'm going to go paste and activate
and install everything. So there we go. We have the Diamond Aircraft all loaded up. So I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and you'll be notified of every uh, other video that I, uh, future videos that I release. My name is Chris with Pilot Savage.